I'm John Hammer, fine artist. I was a graphic designer for most of my life. Been doing it now for we 30 years now. But I never used color, or created paintings. So that kind of came later in life. So that's been almost about four and a half years now I started painting. My wife and my grandkids have been bugging me to paint with them for some time and they were painting outside on the back patio and I decided what the heck I'll jump in and do it too. It was a lot of fun and it just kind of clicked at that point. When I first started out it was let me paint everything I could think of just to try it and see if I could. So I was painting pictures I had taken of figurines around the studio here. Did a painting of an ashtray full of cigarettes, of all things. And, you know, uh, it's one of those things you wouldn't think would be an interesting or fun painting, but it turned out really cool. And it's just one of those things that kind of sticks out like unique, you know. And did one of uh, Leon Russell that I really love. Of course, the driller and the whale. I had to do the local icons. It's just a style that's developed as I've painted and as I've gone along, and so uh, we call it pop impressionism. My wife coined that phrase for me. I really try to pick things that have some sort of iconic nature already to them and already, you know, are very rich in telling the story through imagery. And I think that's really neat in art to just pow, right there it is. And that's kind of the pop art feel to it. And then the impressionistic side comes from it's not realistic, it's a little looser. So the brush strokes have some meaning in the painting as much as the painting itself. I look at it, it's kind of almost the same process as filmmaking to some degree. You come up with a general idea and then you kind of put the base colors in and then you add things to it and you take things away until you have a final product. Yeah, that's last year's. The idea was, okay, it needs to be Tulsa, it needs to be Art Deco, it needs to be native, it needs to be film. My original idea was to create a, an oil derrick just spewing out film. So it became an Art Deco piece to where the derrick was spewing out the film, but more of an Art Deco uh, feel to it. Well, this year I just wanted to kind of go completely in a different direction. The idea of True Grid, it's an Oklahoma story and I always liked the image of him holding the reins in his mouth and firing off his guns. And it just kind of came to me, the idea of shooting uh, a camera instead of a gun, like that's kind of now the new way of, of protecting yourself through a camera and not a gun. So I think it's important when you do stuff like this to create also something that's a lead behind and a, you know, almost a gift to people. It actually becomes a piece of art on its own and the people can appreciate it for that. Most people say it makes them happy. My paintings bring happiness to them. It's stuff that doesn't make them have to think too hard about what message is he trying to say or what is the statement is he trying to make. So I think that's kind of what I hope they get out of it. It's just pleasure. I kind of really like the idea that I'm here in Tulsa and kind of at the beginning of, of Tulsa's emergence as an art town. The beauty of Tulsa is it's still small enough to where no matter who you are or what you're doing, you can get recognized and you can meet other artists and, and we're all a, a small, tight community. Uh, people are willing to help each other out and support each other. The reason most artists fail is because they quit doing art. Everybody will eventually find their place, no matter what type of art or what you're doing. Your audience will find you and you'll find them if you just stick at it long enough. There's somebody out there for every type of art. You don't know if people will like what you put out there. I think that'll always be the case. You just learn to let that go. It's more about pleasing yourself and being who you are. It makes it a lot easier when you realize that you're not gonna make everybody happy, that you only have to make yourself happy.